meron din kami tinatawag na curriculum guide. Sa curriculum guide, yun yung pinaka basis or pinaka skeleto ng mga teacher kung ano ituturo niya sa araw na yun. Nandun na rin yung objectives. Ang kailangan na lang is strategy at paano may i-apply ang lesson. Kaya standardized talaga ang pag-aaral mula sa Department of Education. So ngayon, simulan na natin ang grade 9 mathematics. Ano ba ang mga expected na coverage or topic para sa math 9? Okay. Demonstrate the key concept of quadratic equation, inequalities, and function, and rational at graphic expression. Ayan. So, basic mathematics yan. Kailangan maintindihan mo yung quadratic equation. Alam na alam ng mga grade 9 yan. It is able to investigate orally mathematical relationship in various situations, formulate real-life problem, and in solving quadratic equation. So, ano ba yung application ng quadratic equation? Isa yung sa pinaka-importante equation sa mathematics. Kaya, ang mga MELT na dapat alam ng bata or may idea siya para masagot yung test, illustrate quadratic equation. So, quadratic equation by exchanging square roots, factoring, completing the square, and as using quadratic formula. Kasama din sa quadratic equation yung roots of quadratic equation using the discriminant. Describe the relationship between coefficient and root of quadratic equation. So, quadratic equation transformable to quadratic equation. Yeah, that is first topic sa Math 9. Ngayon naman, second grading. Variation and radical. So, ito yung mga example ng variation at radical. Pag naintinda mo yung mga symbol na yan, sigurado, alam mo na rin yung rules at dapat na gawin kapag nakakitaan ng ganyang math equation. Able to formulate solve accurately, problem solving in both radicals. Ayan. So, may mga example ng variation like direct, inverse, joint, and combine. Translate into variation statement a relation between two inequalities by given table of values, mathematical equation, graph, and vice versa. Ito yung mga example. So, problem involving variation. Apply the law involving positive integral exponent to zero and negative integral exposition. Simple taxation with rational exponent. Ayan. So, yun nga. Pag mahalaga na yung extraction. May mga binibigay kasi yung mathematics na equation na isisimplify mo lang. Kaya pag naintinda mo yung ibig sabihin ng mga rational exponent, Sigurado matasasolve mo agad yung math problem. Okay. Third grading na tayo. Parallelogram and triangle similarity. Yan, medyo interesting na to. Kasi ma-apply mo na agad yung lesson or madali yung ma-memory ng bata. Lalo na ako. Yung pinag-aralan namin to is mas tumatak sa isip ko. Basta naiintindam mo yung rules about shape like parallelogram and triangle. Kahit balik-balik pa rin yung tanong, perfect mo yung exam na Okay. So, example dito is condition that may quadrilateral a parallelogram. Use as properties to find measure of angle, sides, and other qualities involving parallelogram. Yan yung sinasabi ko. Kapag yung shape, alam mo yung rules, alam mo yung measurement. Ayan, kapag finding x, yan, madalas subtraction lang yung gagamit. Basta intindi mo lang dapat yung tanong. Prove theorem that different kinds of parallelogram. Yan. So, paano mong papuprove na ang isang shape ay considered as parallelogram or square? Yan. Oh, shape na siya pero mas malalim. Proves that midline theorem. Provide theorem on trapezoid kites. Provide involving parallelogram, trapezoid kites. Describe the proportion. Yan. So, pag sa triangle naman, ang mga pinag-aaralan is... Dapat alam ibig sabihin ng relationship ng side at angle. S, ibig sabihin side, A means angle. Ayan, S, A, S, similarity theorem. S, S, similarity theorem. A, A, similarity theorem. Right triangle, similarity theorem. And special right triangle theorem. At ang pinaka-importante topic dito is yung Pythagorean theorem. Ayan. So, ito yung theory about right triangle. So, may explanation na kapag ang isang right triangle, may formula para masolve mo yung hypotenuse. Yung hypotenuse yun yung biggest side of a right triangle. Okay, last fourth grading na ang topic sa mathematics. <coughs> Demonstrate the basic concepts of trigonometry. Yan, medyo level up na. Ability to apply the concept trigonometry equations to formulate solve real life problem. Illustrate the six trigonomic ratio. Ayan. So, sa college, grabe. Tandang-tanda namin itong lesson na ito. Like, sine, cosine, tangent, second, cosecant, and 
Cotanja. So, mas madali mo siya maintindihan kapag nakita mo itong drawing na ito. So, kung alam mo yung relationship nila sa isa't isa, may magkaugnay sila, may mga reverse properties sila, kaya basic lang din ito. Fine trigonometric ratio of special angle. Illustrate angles of elevation and angle of depreciation. Use trigonometric ratio to solve real life problem involving right triangle. Yan yung mga gusto mag-engineer, sigurado maintindihan nila. Law of sine and cosine, problem solving involving oblique triangle. So, dyan po nagtatapos ang third grade, Mathematics 9. At last po, Math 10, ang pinaka-interesting sa lahat. Sequence, polynomial, and polynomial equation. So, babalik tayo sa mga equation, pero ang pinaka-challenge dito is yung application na. Okay. Ilan sa mga important topics is generate pattern. Illustrate an arithmetic sequence, determine arithmetic mean, and term of arithmetic sequence, sum of the term, given arithmetic sequence. Yan. May, dito yung mga example ng arithmetic sequence. Basta yung advice ko dito dapat, tingnan mo yung mga pattern. Differentiate geometric sequence from arithmetic sequence. Yan, magkaiba sila pero magkaugnay. Determine geometric means and term of geometric sequence and sum of term given infinite or infinite geometric sequence. Solve problem involving sequence. Performing division of polynomials using long division synthetic division. Proves remainder theorem factor and the relationship theorem. Factors polynomial. Illustrate polynomial equation. Solve problems involving polynomial and polynomial equation. So, yung pinaka-important dito is yung mga sequence. Kahit sa mga nap exam, lumalabas talaga yung sequence. Parang skills kasi ito ng mental ability. Kung niya, ano yung susunod na number o ano yung susunod na letter o susunod na pattern. And yung polynomial equation niya. So, kailangan grade na yung kabisado niya ano yung mga basic polynomial equation at paano ito sinasol. First grading. Second grading, map 10. Polynomial functions. So, kung kanina mga equation, ngayon naman yung functions mismo ng polynomial yung pag-aaralan. Illustrate polynomial function. Understand, describe, and interpret graphic polynomial functions. Ayan, ito na yung mga drawing-drawing. So, problem involving polynomial functions. Derive inductive the relationship among chords, arc, central angle, and scribe angle. So, kung ako nagkakamali about circles na to. Proof theorem related scores, arc, central angle, and scribe angle. So, tinatawag ito sa exam pero yung pinaka-basic lang. Illustrate second tangent segment sectors and circle. Proof theorem in second tangent segment. Solves problem in circle. Apply the distance formula to prove geometric properties. Illustrate the center radius from the equation of a circle. Determines the center of radius or circle gives the equation of vice versa. So, kapag alam yung formula, minsan... Iba-iba sila na tinatanong. Minsan yung pinakasagot yung tinatanong or minsan yung factor yung tinatanong. Kaya maganda na alam mo yung formula. Para kung ano yung nawawala doon, i-derive mo na yung formula. Graphs and solve problem in clothing circle and other geometric figure in coordinates play na yan. Si Rene Descartes kilala bilang sa Cartesian coordinate plane. So ito yung example niya. So pag marunong ka mag-graph kung alam mo kung kaya, kaya mong i-locate yung isang place or isang point, madaling madali na yun. Napakadaming application na. Third grading. Demonstrate understanding of key concept of combination, combinatorics and probability. Yan yung mga tumataya sa loto. Ito yung explanation kung gano'ng kalaki yung chance manalo. Okay. At yung probability, paano ka gagawa ng conclusion at decision making. Illustrate the permutation of object. Solve problem involving permutation. Illustrate the combination of object. Differentiate permutation from combination of n object taken r at a time. Solve problem involving permutation and combination. Illustrate even the union and intersection of events. Illustrate the probability of union of two events. Yan. So, ito yung example niya. Illustrate mutual excessive event and solve problem involving probability. Yeah. So, gano'ng kalabi ang chance na sagutin ka ng crush mo? Dito yun sa topic na probability. Last topic para po sa grade 10. Demonstrates understand the concept of measures of position. To be able to conduct systematically a mini research applying differential statistical methods. So, statistics is 
the collection, analysis, and interpretation of data. Yeah. So, madalas ginagamit ito sa research or sa pagtuklas ng mga bagay-bagay. Yeah, number one agency ng gobyerno dito tinatawag na PSA or sila yung Philippine Statistics Office. Okay, ang mga melt na kailangan dito, illustrate the following measure of position, quartiles, dectiles, and percentiles. Calculate specific measure of position, 90th percentile, or set of data. Interpret measure of position niya. So, hindi lang mga dapat magaling mag-compute yung isang estudyante. Dapat, kanya rin explain ano yung naging resulta or ano yung lumabas sa computation niya. Solve problem involving measures of position yan. Sa mathematics, marami talaga problem solving na kailangan i-analyze mo yung problem para maisip kung ano yung mathematical equation na gagawin. At minsan, pag mali yung ginawa mo, nandun pa rin sa choices, ganun ka-tricky yung mga math question. ay analyze mo na yung problem. Hindi lamang pindot ka ng pindot or solve ka lang ng solve. Kasi alam nila na pag mali yung naisip mong idea, yun yung ilalagay nila sa choices. Formerly, it is statistical mean research and appropriate measure of position and other statistical methods in analyzing interpreting research data. So, yan po yung coverage ng mathematics. May challenging talaga itong subject na ito pero naniniwala ako na lahat ng bagay naman ay kaya pag-aralan at mahalaga na naiintindihan mo ito. Salamat po.